two hours afterwards. But the one question he couldn't get over was, why were we there? What was our motive for being at a meeting where Christians were discussing whatever they were discussing? And the answer to that, to me, is because I'm fascinated about what makes some people believe and other people not believe. And in one way, I think that's a far more important question than is there a God or isn't there a God? Because I imagine most of you have done the God, no God argument dozens of times. And the God, no, no God argument has seven basic arguments which you can do by heart. It's pretty easy. But it's pretty sterile discussing whether there's a God or no God because they believe in a God because they have a faith in a God. And we don't believe in a God because we see no necessity for a God. Full stop. So what is it about different types of people that makes some people want to believe and some people not believe? What need is it that's met by believing in a God? So that's what I want to look at tonight. But test the technology. Sixty-five percent of young people in this country do not believe in a God. Now, this was a survey carried out by two vicars in South Wales in 1995 amongst 3,000 school students. Last week, the Office of National Statistics produced a uh, survey of adults showing that 68 percent of adults are now willing to admit they don't believe in a God. Unfortunately, there's another large chunk which actually says they believe in some form of spirit, whatever that is. I have a feeling that Wiccans and Pagans are making a comeback. <clears throat> so, last week I was faced with 125 Muslim students. And if you've never done that, it's an experience, right? And when I asked this question, it wasn't quite 125 Muslims. I think there were about three non-believers have we got any believers here tonight? One? Two? Okay. Well, I'm not going to get at you, honestly. I'm not going to get at you, but it's just nice to know that for the first time in weeks, I'm actually facing an audience where we are not in a minority. Um, is there a gene for religion? Are you born a Christian, a Muslim, or a Jain, or whatever it is? Of course not. So if everybody is born an atheist, there is no belief in a baby, uh, where does it come from? This is actually quite a fundamental question, because I thought the answer to this question was obvious. Should religion be a personal, informed, intellectual choice, or should it be imposed by parents, family, and community? I thought everybody in the world would say, well, of course, it should be an informed choice. It should be something you personally decide for yourself as a result of looking at different forms of belief and making up your own mind. Um, 125 Muslims disagree with me. Uh, they believe it's just something that you get from your family. Because they don't do this. They don't actually evaluate other systems of belief before they make up their mind. This one leads to mixed answers if you're in a, a religious group. Does goodness depend on God's holy book, scholars, and a promised reward in an afterlife? Um, a lot of the more fanatical ones will say it does. Uh, the more liberal ones will say no. A non-believer can be a good person. That's really bigger than this. That's really nice. It always astounds me that many religious people are completely ignorant, not only of other religions, but of their own. Of the 40 people I met last night, the Christians, uh, the vast majority of them knew none of the theological background, none of the arguments about the Old Testament or the New Testament, none of the arguments about whether Jesus was or was not a real historical person, none of the arguments about Islam. They are pretty ignorant in general. It seems to be that the more informed atheist tends to know more about religions than members of religions themselves. And finally, can religion be cured? I put this up last week amongst the Muslims. 
And you could see that one or two were seething about this question because they don't understand the concept of irony. As you know, both Christianity and Islam think that homosexuality, for example, can be cured. So if they wish to say that a particular human attribute can be cured, I can show a cure for religion. Right. Who's met one of those before? Who's studying social sciences? <laughs> right. This is this is the normal curve. Has anybody not seen one of these before? A normal curve? Okay. Uh, this particular shape is used in all social sciences. My degree was in psychology. And we use this all the time. You can apply it to most human traits. For example, if I was to say very, very short people, very, very tall people, then obviously the majority of people lie somewhere in the middle. Um, you can apply it to intelligence, whatever that is, and say that there are some people who are incredibly intelligent, there are some people who are incredibly dull, and most of us sit somewhere in the middle. And if you have an IQ of over 100, you'll be up here somewhere. However, this is a normal curve for the distribution of religion. And at one end, we have people who are dependent, deeply religious, and fairly mystical. At the other end, you have people who are independent, God-free, and rational. This is our end. The interesting thing about this curve is where are the majority of people? The area occupied by the majority of people is the area in the middle. The vast majority of people just outside that door are not sitting inside here because to them, they are indifferent to religion. It has no meaning to their day-to-day -day lives. So why bother? The only people who actually bother about religion are the religious and those of us who have a good time <laughs> not being religious. Um, so most people are indifferent to religion. OK, now I'm going to go into the mode of a sixth form essay. If we're discussing needs, and why do some people need a religion, the first thing we need to do is to look at what is a need. Our basic with needs, food, drink, shelter, clothing, warmth. We need comfort. We need friends, companionship, and love, because as humans, we're social animals. Uh, it's a pretty miserable life if you don't have you know, friends and companionship. If you've got love as well, that's even better. Uh, so we are very sociable animals. We have a need for intellectual stimulation because we're curious animals. We don't, well, not since I left university anyway, we don't get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, do nothing, and then go back to bed. Um, actually, I think I gave that at about, about the age of 17. Really. So I, that's slightly exaggerated. We are curious animals, and we need to find out. We're always asking questions. And the buzz of life, to me, and no doubt you, is the fact that almost every day we learn something new. This one causes a lot of controversy amongst the religious. Sex is a need. Sexual relief is a need. And we're unusual animals because we engage in sex mainly for enjoyment as well as procreation. If you don't think that's true, you're a very different animal than I am. <laughs> so, sex is fun. It's a need, it's something we search out. However, societies and religions that promote sexual abstinence generate sexual frustration, frustration which in testosterone-driven young males often leads to violence, crime, fanaticism, and the objectification of women. The sexual need is one that can be easily distorted. And unfortunately, the groups that distort sexual need the most are religious. You know, the big American movement against uh, sex before marriage, say no, or uh, was it some ring or something? Yeah, whatever it was. The um, result of that was they had an increased level of teenage pregnancies and a higher level of sexually transmitted diseases. So they screwed that one up big one. So how could sexual needs of both sexes be met when religion pro promotes virginity before marriage? I'm not saying liberal Christianity doesn't necessarily frown on sex before marriage, but certainly Catholicism does, Islam certainly does, and so on. So, how is this basically? 
even worse, if women are the only ones who are supposed to remain virgins, 